Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam, thanks for stopping by and hanging out today. So, as you guys may have known, um, I've been kind of crawling around looking at all different variations of RC lately. Um, you know, just trying to experience a little bit of everything. And some of it is, you know, touching back to my past, you know, especially with the Radio Shack stuff and, you know, that type of um, RCs. You know, I'd love to have some Tyco and Nico and stuff, but right now the market on those are, you know, a few notches above. And, you know, the Radio Shack stuff is fun and, you know, Tyco and Nico is all fun, but, you know, they're not great cars. You know, nostalgic, yes, but none of them are great. So I'm trying to stay on kind of the budget side of it, I guess. So, so far, Radio Shack has kind of fit that description. So I came across one recently that I just could not pass up. It was just entirely too cool and in too great of a shape to get. So it's basically a new inbox. The box has been opened, and it's probably been taken out once or twice, but I can't see any indication that this thing was driven or really anything done with it. So I'm considering a new inbox. We got the Baja Screamer. You know... If I was a kid, this is exactly what I would have asked for for Christmas. Something obnoxiously bright and colorful, um, has a cool driver that can go with it, has all these cool box art images of wheelies and stunts and all this stuff that it probably cannot do effectively. But, you know, absolutely looks the part. Now, the box has, you know, somewhere, it's, it's old. Um, as we age, we all show a little bit of wear and tear. But the insides are perfect. Um, I'm not going to unbox it live because there's a lot of styrofoam and stuff in here. I'll just put a picture in here of, you know, what it looks like in the box. But I'm going to go ahead and get everything out of the box and get the driver on it. And then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, so this is the Baja Screamer ATV from Radio Shack. Um, you know, it is just absolutely perfectly gaudy and bright and colorful, just how a kid's toy should be. Um, the driver guy is fantastic. I love him. Um, the four-wheeler, you know, it's, it's a four-wheeler. You know, they took some liberties with the design of it to, you know, make it all work. But the interesting thing about this is this doesn't have steering. You know, the front tires don't move. It actually leans to steer. So it actually will look like an actual guy on an ATV out there leaning around. And supposedly you can position this guy in, in multiple ways. Um, so far, I've only seen him be able to kind of sit down. But yeah, on the box, it, you know, it kind of shows him doing cool tricks and twists and stuff. And, you know, probably the only time he's going to do that is when he goes flying off of the four-wheeler. But um, it comes with the ATV and rider. You get your little remote. So this only takes a 9-volt battery. And it actually came with an original Radio Shack 9.6 um, pack and charger. Now, these are just going to be to display with this guy. Um, you know, I'm going to use my real charger to charge the battery. And I went and bought a brand new 9.6 pack to put in here because I didn't think that this, you know, it's probably 20 some years old. And even if it did take a charge, it's probably just going to out pretty quickly. So, you know, I will take some up close pictures of it, but there's not a whole lot to say. No suspension. You know, it's going to ride like a brick. So, yeah, the steering is all done by the lean of the, the vehicle. The front end actually just kind of floats. So it just did it weeble wobbles but it's on a pivot to where when it tilts you know it's actually creating that that turn and then the rear has a servo on it that is actually tilting it one way or the other so more than likely that's probably where a lot of these failed so i was really excited to get this in kind of this new inbox state um i am sure there's not a whole lot of these out here that are still in this good a condition because, you know, I know if I was a kid, this isn't Evil Knievel, but this is Evil Knievel's brother. And this guy would have gone off every ramp and jump and curb and tree stump and everything else I could possibly imagine to try to jump this thing off or drive it over. And I'm sure the, the drivers got beat up, the buggies got, the, the, the ATV itself got beat up. Um, I'm sure that servo back here that does the, the left-right tilt 
that was probably the first thing to go out in it. Um, you know, it's not a light vehicle, and, you know, it's got a lot of strain on it to, you know, stand up to jolting around curves and twists and bumps and stuff all at the same time. But, you know, I am super, super happy about this guy. I'm going to get a battery tossed in here, and then we're going to go outside and take it for a spin, because I have, this is the first time I'm doing anything with it. I took it out of the box when I first got it, just to make sure everything was there and, you know, as described, and then I just boxed it all back up, and it's been sitting in a box for about a month now. So, you know, been kind of eager to see this guy out going. So I learned something by, you know, turning it on for the first time that I did not know. It has a three position switch. So if you turn it to the first position, you know, you get steering and you get forwards and reverse. If you put it into the second position, you now have sound to go with the forward and reverse. I know it's probably hard to hear over top of the, you know, gear train noise, but you can hear it idle. So, dub, 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 dub. that's kind of cool. Had no idea it did that. So, all right, let's take it outside and watch it drive around in its goofy little mannerisms. All right, guys, so that was a quick run of the Baja Screamer from Radio Shack. Um, I put up some pictures here at the end of it kind of up close, and then also a clip from the actual Radio Shack catalog um, listing for this back in the day. So in that listing in the Radio Shack catalog and on the box here, it has the retail price for it, $69.99. Um, I paid $69.41 for it. 
So, you know, I still paid less than retail price for the whole kit. So, you know, I don't think that's too bad. Um, anytime you can pick up something that's, you know, uh, an iconic part of your childhood. And, you know, this wasn't part of my childhood. This was a little bit later. But, you know, I would have given my left arm for this when I was, you know, 10, 12 years old. You know, this is pretty cool. Especially with sounds in it. I didn't even know it had sounds. Maybe that's the screamer part. I don't know. But it was hard to pick up in the video. Um, but it actually does have multiple sounds. Uh, like if you throw it in reverse real fast, it makes like a screeching sound. Um, you know, it for some reason makes some kind of alien spaceship sound every now and then when you turn. And it's all through the audio unit, so it's nothing wrong with the car. Now, I was able to pull some wheelies, but there was one wheelie where I heard, you know, something click. Um, there's no noise in the transmission or anything, so I'm assuming you just skip the tooth on the gear. But I'm not going to do that too often, of that slamming it from uh, reverse to forward. But it was funny to see it ride a wheelie. And I'm sure you could probably, you know, put a little sticky weight or something back here to make it a little bit more rear end heavy and do wheelies a whole lot easier. But, you know, in all honesty, um, this guy is going to stay fairly well protected. Um, I will probably put it back in the clean it up, put it back in the box and, you know, take it out, you know, once in a blue moon to, to drive it around and have some fun with it. Um, you know, this is, this was definitely bought for the collection part of it. Like I said, it's not going to be something that you're going to find every day to find one of these in this great a condition. So, you know, I consider myself lucky that I came across it. I'm really happy I bought it and, you know, out of the box, it was, it was hilarious and fun. I did put a rubber band um, from post to post on here just to keep him on there. Um, you know, his feet do want to pop off fairly easily. So I just put that on there as I was driving around. So he wasn't dangling a leg around. All right, guys. Well, I hope you liked something a little bit different. Um, you know, this is kind of a cool little kickback to the past. It's a little bit newer than, you know, my childhood. But, you know, I definitely would have wanted one of these. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Seeing something a little bit different is the first time I've had one that has this pivot lean type um, steering to it. So that was really cool. Um, I, I really got a kick out of this. Now, when it was driving, sure, it would just kind of randomly turn where it wanted to when one of these hit a bump. But, you know, it doesn't go fast enough. It's going to get out of control, so it was fun. Anyway, guys, everybody out there, you guys be happy, be healthy, be safe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Let me try that again. All right, guys. So I hope you really. Uh, boop, 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 boop. <sighs>